Well, thank you for joining us for your Arklamis News Source. I'm Christina Jensen. Well, one local doctor is on a mission to get the legal drug Kratom banned and off of our streets. NBC 10's Nick Summer is digging deeper, telling us why people are both for and against this drug. Healthcare professionals and law enforcement officials across the state of Louisiana are raising awareness against the drug known as Kratom. It is, a, it is an opiate based and they attempt to move the ingredients in it just a notch away from that or a tiny bit away from that in order to basically push it legally in the United States. Kratom is a derivative of an Asian evergreen tree that contains multiple stimulants and is used by as many as 5 million people in the United States. The substance has been touted as an alternative approach to pain management. I've had two different cases where alcohol was their drug of choice and they thought they could switch over to Kratom. And they got so badly addicted to it, both of them had to go inpatient treatment to get off of it. Kratom comes in three forms, a pill form, a powder form, and a liquid form. All have an opioid base. It needs to be totally banned. There are some states that have banned it. It needs to be banned in every state across the country because it is an opiate-like substance. It has the same effect on the opioid receptors in the brain. The prefrontal cortex of the human brain for anyone who is not fully developed can be extremely damaged by drugs like Kratom. Decision-making, judgment, conscious of right and wrong, and impulse control. And when a person starts feeding that into the brain before those ages I just described, and the brain is not fully developed, the person's automatically setting themselves up to create an addiction. The Louisiana Department of Health wants to visit schools across the state to help educate students on this drug. Reporting in West Monroe for your Arklamis News Source, I'm Nick Summer.